Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anya. There are so many friends keeping asking me, "Hey Anya, how do I, how should I connect my battery pack in parallel? Is this connection method correct?" Today, I'm going to explain it more details. For this battery pack connection for parallel, I will definitely say no. It is not the correct and safety way for battery in parallel. Let me explain with some calculation and a key principle. Let's take a common 15 kilowatt hour or 16 kilowatt hour battery pack as an example. Yes, like this way. The over current limit of its terminal component is 200 amperes. The maximum current of this positive to positive, positive to positive, the current the current limit is 200 amperes. If you forcibly connect three battery pack in parallel and then connect the inverter to the last battery, the last battery for the charge and discharge trouble will arise. Let's assume in this battery pack the Continue current is 140. If you connect three battery, and、uh, the last of battery pack will will have 420 ampere. 420 ampere far exceed 200 ampere design limit, which will directly shorten the lifespan of the battery pack components. But more importantly, it poses a huge. Safety hazard and the risk of fire. So, what is the correct way to connect the battery pack in parallel? In this video, I will show you guys step by step. First, let me to show you guys what we need to prepare. Today, I bring you guys is the 16 kilowatt hour of Xinhong brand lithium iron fast fit battery pack, which made by the Pace BMS and the Lison 314 ampere brand new gray A cell built into the built into the battery pack with very high quality. Except the battery pack, we also have the bus bar for connection and the two AWG wire for connection. Before the connecting the battery pack, please make sure the battery pack is turned off. Do not turn on the battery pack to make a parallel. There will have the, there will have, there will have a risk for, for short circuit or others. This is a very important point. This is the key point. The safest and most perfect solution for connecting multiple battery pack in parallel is use a bus bar. That's right. The red is for the positive and the black is for the negative. This help us distribute the current and stabilize the voltage, avoiding over current in a single circuit. This one we are using today is by the one, two, three, four, five, six, six connection points and support a maximum current six hundred ampere, which fully meets the needs of multiple battery pack three parallel connection. So for li or、uh, our list design is for three battery pack to make the parallel. So if you have four or five or six or seven, uh, to sixteen like this way, you need to choose the different specification of the bus bar. Yes, you can have a details look of this one. Next, that is to do the wiring. Yes, to connect the battery pack to the bus bar and、uh, connect the bus bar to the inverter, and also to connect it to the grid. For the principle of the wiring, it is very easy. That is to connect the battery pack to the positive, negative to the negative, positive to positive, negative to negative, and.、Uh, Combine all the current at the bus bar and then to the inverter. Yes, 
it seems very easy for you guys, but they still have some important points maybe you guys didn't know. So follow the video to see the details. Step 1. Number the battery pack. The one on the right is we can number it as the number one battery pack and this one to the number two battery pack. Step 2. Connect the bus bar with the battery. You can see the number one battery pack, the, the positive connect to the bus bar, the negative connect to the bus bar. And uh, for the number two, the negative to the negative bus bar, the positive to the positive bus bar, uh, collect all the current at the bus bar, and then bus bar the positive to connect to the inverter positive, and the negative connect the current to the inverter negative. Yes, this is the wire wire connection and the next step is to make the communication for the battery pack you can see this is a cane you can use the blue net wire to connect the cane to to connect to the other battery pack rs485 to make these two battery pack in a uh, communication then set the address code of the battery pack we for the number one we set the DIP switch of battery pack one two, you can see is one zero zero zero, and for the second battery pack to make the address as the zero one zero zero. Yes, this is the address setting. This allows the battery pack to recognize each other and work together. The final step is the communication connection between the battery pack with the inverter. Then we need to turn on the battery, turn on the battery, to turn on to battery pack. Then final step is to make the battery packs communication with the inverter. At first, we connect the inverter wire with the battery pack port is can port. Then we will choose the app on your cell phone and uh, to check the device information device information to check the CAN protocol and then to check what inverter you use if your inverter is the Deye, you can choose this in protocol if your inverter is Vichon, then choose this one and uh, if your inverter is good way, then choose the good way. And if your inverter is grow out, then you choose the grow out. But our inverter is the magnifold, and then choose the magnifold. Then it connects well. This is the inverter to choose. Let's to see the setting at the inverter. You can see it already communication with the battery pack. Okay, this is the battery voltage. SOC at 32%. And let's to see our battery pack SOC. You can see this is also same, 31 little difference but it is the same similar okay for this small system now we only connect the battery pack with the oh, inverter yeah. we didn't connect the system to the grid so let's to see if it works and uh, uh, now we bring a fan here and uh, to connect it you can see the fan already works. And let's to see the system. Now it is the discharge, discharge for the 2.7 ampere. So let's to see here. Let's to see the second battery's discharge current. 
you can see it is 1.64 ampere. Our air condition is connected with this small system and uh, then let's to see the inverter information. Then you will see the change of the character. In previous, we used the fan. The character is minus two point seven, and now you see for the air air condition, the character is to the eight ampere. Now this small system is already finished. Uh, this system didn't connect to the grid and. Now it's only connected with the battery pack, inverter, and the consumption of air conditions. And let's to see the inverter shoes. The inverter shoes, the SOC is 30%, uh, voltage 52.1. The current is 20 ampere for discharge current because now the air condition is already turned on. And let's go back to the battery pack of these two battery pack. Firstly, of the number one battery pack, now the volt the SOC is same as the inverter shoes, thirty one percent. The current is five point seven seven. For the number two. Uh, the SOC is the same, 31%, and the current is 5.9. So you can see for the current of battery pack is number one battery pack minus number two battery pack current and equals to the inverter's current. Yes, then it is fairly connection well without any problems, and it is very safety for this current the number one battery pack to here, number two to here, and the connection all the carrying to, to the inverter. It is a very safety way. And uh, this is only a demo video. Yes, a demo video. So for the wire lens, we didn't set well. So when you have the battery in your hand, you need to customize the, the wire lens. Yes, to customize the suitable wire lens and to make it more ordering than our demo shoes. Okay, above right. is today's video about how to make the battery packs in parallel. Is that very easy for you guys? And uh, there still have some most important point. Firstly, if two battery pack capacity, the SOC is not the same, then it cannot do in parallel. For example, if this battery pack SOC is 50 and this one is 30 SOC, then it cannot be parallel. And the second, if two different BMS, if this one made by JK BMS and this one made by the Pace BMS, then the two battery pack cannot be parallel. And the third, if in the same BMS, if in the same capacity, if in different brand of battery cell inside the battery pack, then it's it also cannot be in parallel. This is most important three points for how to make a battery packs in parallel. And if you still have questions for how to make the details of the communication with the inverter or others, you can leave us your message. And thank you for your guys watching. I'm Anya. See you in this video. Bye bye.